In today's video, I want to share with you seven reasons why it's not a bad idea to be buying some crypto right about now. My name's Lark. Every day I make videos talking about cryptocurrency investing. So if you do like that topic, like stay up to date with crypto, a quick tap on the thumbs up button. Just let me and the YouTube algorithm know that that is something you appreciate hearing about. It'll be super freaking awesome. Now let's go ahead and get straight into this topic. So the first reason why, hey, you know, consider adding a bit to your crypto stack around this time. The Fed is raising interest rates. Now, outside of the uncertainty and the fear of how many interest rate hikes there's going to be and when they're going to start happening and how soon the oh, blah, 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 blah stuff's going to happen. The reality is, is that when the Fed raises interest rates, the equity markets finish higher at the end of the year. That's what history has shown. Will this time be different? It can always be different, but history while not repeating often does rhyme. So if we can take this indicator that US stocks tend to finish up on average 7.3% higher 12 months following the first Fed rate hike, that's probably gonna be good for the cryptocurrency markets as well. We also saw that during 2016, 2017, when we had Fed interest rate hikes also, Obviously, we had a bull market for the cryptocurrency markets. So this is a reason to consider, hey, look, the prices have come down a lot recently, partially due to the uncertainty around what the Fed was doing. But the reality is that once the Fed starts with the rate hikes, the prices probably going to go up for the equity markets. And because crypto has been so closely linked with the equity markets, probably going to go up for crypto too. The second reason... The balances of cryptocurrencies on exchanges just keep on falling, particularly for Bitcoin, also for Ethereum. We keep seeing it just being bought and taken off of exchanges now, particularly in the case of Bitcoin, it's being bought on exchanges and taken off and just dumped in cold wallets to wait because it is a gold like asset in people's portfolios. They buy it, they hold it, they forget about it. It's chilling. Ethereum, people are taking off exchanges to using DeFi and stuff like that. Also, you know, being taken off exchanges at a pretty good rate. But particularly when we talk about Bitcoin, it is a HODL asset. And we are seeing it become increasingly scarce all of the time. Basically, you can see here, ever since that high watermark back in the 2020 crash, it's just been all downhill since then. And we're not going to go back up. It's just going to keep going down because we have such high demand for Bitcoin all the time. The production levels are only going down with the Bitcoin halvings coming in. So long term, it's good to have a bit of Bitcoin in your pocket because it's just going to become a more scarce asset at a time when more demand is coming in for it. The third reason, more buyers coming in. And you have to take a bit of a longer term perspective investing. I know everybody just wants to get rich overnight. I get it. I get it. It does happen in crypto, but that's the exception, not the rule. And everyone wants to be the exception, not the rule. But the rule, if you're going to be the rule in investing, is that if you buy and hold, have a long term mindset, your chances of success investing are near certain, let's say. If you're running around speculating on super high risk stuff, trying to get rich overnight, your chances of success, very small. I know people like playing the lottery, but uh, you know, if you wanna get rich for certain, take the long-term perspective. Understand that by 2030, we are estimated to have 3.4 billion more people coming into the cryptocurrency markets. Come on, man. That's crazy stuff. We have great statistics like this as well from Deloitte. 82% of Indians surveyed plan to invest in cryptocurrency once the government provides regulatory clarity. We have got some regulatory clarity uh, from the Indian government recently with their announcement that they will be introducing a 30% tax on crypto, which basically is them saying, yeah, crypto's here. It's here to stay. We're just going to start collecting tax money on it instead of trying to ban it all the freaking time. This is how we get to 3.4 billion more people coming to the cryptocurrency market. Indians, they're on board. But guess what? It's not just the Indians. Everybody is. The Russians, they love cryptocurrencies and the government's been moving in a more pro-crypto direction. The Indonesians, 
just had some big pro crypto news coming out of Indonesia. They love crypto down there. All across the world, people are waking up to this asset class and they want a piece of it. And increasingly, regulations and fiat gateways and all this stuff are giving them the access that they are demanding. Eight years time from now, 3.4 billion more people. That's probably the only thing in crypto you need to understand as an investment thesis. Who's fading that? Bitcoin's under $50,000 right now. It's a nice time to be adding to a stack, in my opinion anyway. By the way, if you would like to have a nice place to earn some passive income on your Bitcoin, maybe your Ethereum while you hodl and wait for, you know, the 3.4 billion more people to come in, grab yourself an account over on Celsius. You can earn 6.2% on your Bitcoin, 5.35% on your Ethereum. Great rates on stable coins and altcoins as well. Use the link in the description and you'll get a $50 bit coin bonus when starting and funding your account. The fourth reason. Crypto is kind of cheap right now. Everybody in the market at a fundamental level, at an intellectual level, we understand we should buy low and then sell high. Most people do the opposite. Most people come in late, they FOMO, they buy the tops, they go, oh my gosh, everything's pumping like mad. I should put all my money in right now because it's only going to pump higher. I'm a genius. This is how geniuses win in the market. No, 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 no. Realistically, the market's down a lot right now. And yes, we've had a nice little bump over the last few days. That feels good. But the reality is that most assets, the core assets are down 40, 50%. A lot of the altcoins are down 60 to 90%. They're cheap right now. Can the market turn super bearish again? Can all the prices go dramatically lower? It's crypto, man. Anything can happen. And I never, uh, you know, say, hey, look, put all your money in at an exact time. This is how it's done. No, that's not how it's done. Dollar cost averaging into positions, that's how it's done. That's how winning is done in crypto. Especially when the prices come down like this, you just buy a bit every few days and you add to positions. You build a position, especially when the markets are down. And if they go down lower, you add more to your position, but you don't go all in. That can lead to a lot of regret because then the markets go lower and you go, oh, I could have bought more. Well, I'll sell now and it'll go lower. Ah, just take your time. Be patient. Again, it comes down to patience, right? People FOMO in because they're not being patient. They're not taking the long-term perspective. They just add a little bit, add a little bit. Market's always correct. Right now, guess what? We're in a correction period still. Prices are still pretty damn cheap compared to where they were a few months ago. It makes it an interesting time to be buying, not to be selling, to be buying. The next reason on our list here, social media has been going crazy with crypto, particularly social media companies have been going crazy with crypto. So we see here Reddit allowing users to set uh, any NFT as their profile picture. Twitter just did the same thing. TikTok has integrated NFTs. Facebook has uh, an app that they're allowing stablecoin transfers for. They also confirmed that they will be having uh, NFTs in their uh, metaverse. LinkedIn's probably going to do NFTs soon. I'm surprised LinkedIn has... Who uses LinkedIn? Anyway, all the big social media sites are getting into crypto in one way or another. And for many of them, it's just early stages, right? They're starting to play around with what can we do. Pretty soon, we're going to see a lot more features. I mean, we've already have Reddit, for example. They have community tokens. Twitter's allowing for Bitcoin tipping. It's just the beginning. Most people, again, how are we getting 3.4 billion more users? The crypto's coming to them. They don't even need to go anywhere. Pretty soon your grandma is going to be earning banana token on Facebook for, you know, doing whatever your grandma does on Facebook. I guess they do something there. Anyway, that's, it's going to be crazy. Everybody's going to have access to this kind of stuff because we have so many users who are now getting exposure to this and it's only getting bigger. Crypto's going to go crazy over the next few years. Yes, there's big corrections. That's crypto, man. But just keep an eye on the big picture. We also have immense amounts of fiat gateways, which are opening up. Now, this is a really, really important topic because 
fiat gateways mean more money can come into the market, essentially. Robinhood, for example, uh, they've just launched a cryptocurrency wallet, attracting in 2 million users. We have uh, this story out of the U.S. that um, Bitcoin is coming to hundreds of U.S. banks this year. We just had a few credit unions announce their Bitcoin uh, plays as well. All of this stuff adds up. Every bank, every app, it all adds up. What we're looking at here is a tsunami of money, a wall of money, a, a big pile of how, whatever large equation of money you want to imagine coming into the market. And that money has been there and it's getting more and more interested in the markets all the time. The question is, how can they get in? What are the roads that they can take to get in? And a lot of people want crypto to come to them. They don't want to go to crypto, which is why the social media aspect is so important, but also why this is so important. What we see happening with the banks and apps like Robinhood, people don't need to go to Coinbase. They don't need to go and get a Binance account or whatever else. They're going to go down to the bank, the place where they've been banking for the last 20 years, and they're going to say, hey, I heard about that Bitcoin thing. Can I put $5,000 into it, please? And the bank's going to say, sure thing. That unlocks a crazy potential for this market. This is all happening right now. Big picture, right? Big picture. Trillions of dollars ready to come into this market. They just need the avenues to get in, and we are getting those avenues happening right now. Now, final point, dollar cost averaging under $50,000 for Bitcoin. Feels good, man. It feels good. It's a nice time to be cost averaging in, which is exactly what I've been doing. I was buying, uh, as I've told you guys on Twitter, uh, I've been buying since $42,500. I bought every few days, basically down to about, uh, I got $34,000 approximately. I didn't hit, you know, the perfect bottom. Can't always catch the perfect bottoms on these dips, but uh, I was buying all the way down to $34,000, buying back up uh, now as well. Basically anywhere under $50,000, in my opinion, for Bitcoin long-term is going to work out very, very well. Buying Ethereum, I've also been buying some Ethereum. Buying Ethereum around these price levels, long-term gonna work out very, very well. Some of the good altcoins, again, great long-term potential for these assets. You can buy the tops and look, buying Bitcoin at $69,000, let's fast forward to 2030, it's gonna be worth a million dollars for Bitcoin, you will have done fine. But the reality is, if you bought Bitcoin at $33,000 the other day and it goes to a million dollars, well, guess what? You're gonna get a 33X return on your investment. But if you buy Bitcoin at $50,000 and it goes to a million dollars, you only get a 20x return on your investment. That $13,000 makes a hell of a big difference on your total returns that you're going to get in the market. Think about that. So any accumulation, in my opinion, under $50,000 long term, nice, nice. Anyway. Those are just my two Satoshis of why now I am buying cryptocurrencies, why I have been buying Bitcoin, why I have been buying Ethereum. Do you agree with my reasoning that this is a good time to be buying crypto or you're crazy, Lark, the market's going to go down another 90%, then I'm going to buy. Let us all know your opinion down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.